This film is a tribute to the resilience, creativity and professionalism of many in our migrant communities. AIM's face-to-face -face English conversation classes were suspended in April 2020. One class of around 10 relatively newly arrived migrants and their volunteer tutor resolved to continue English classes through the online meeting platform Zoom. The move to online classes has been beneficial for all participants, including in several unforeseen ways during a particularly challenging and unusual time. It's good to see you and today we're going to continue with uh, that topic about how to make friends and that whole small talk. So it's about polite conversations. It's about, and I think uh, what we worry about when we're in a new country is how can we be polite yes. without offending anybody we're not sure so here's some ideas julia fraser a volunteer tutor with ames ran a weekly conversation class for up to 20 newly arrived students and migrants at the city of melbourne's multicultural hub opposite the victoria market many of the regular attendees found the class not only beneficial for their english language skills but also for connections with other people in a new country in April 2020, Ames notified its tutors and students that all face-to-face -face classes needed to cease to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Understanding that many of these students would miss this regular interaction, Ames gave Julia permission to continue her weekly class via Zoom. Who'd like to try first? Um, I want to introduce myself to my neighbour. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Ali. Yep. Uh, we just recently moved to our new house and yep. we are living next door yep. and I'm living with my husband. Hi, good morning. Uh, how, are you? Hi. how are you today? Fantastic, thank you. Uh, we moved in uh, three weeks ago, uh, but uh, we haven't spoken before. My name is Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. My name Thank is Zaya. Meme. I will introduce to Ryo as a car worker. It's okay. Lovely. Y yes. I just started working here today, from today. My name is Meme. Uh, how long have you been starting? Hmm? How, long, how long have you, how long have you been working? Here. Uh, hi, Meme. Uh, my name is Ryo. Yeah. And I worked here uh, about. I worked here about uh, uh, what one month. Uh, it will be get better. So. So. Uh, so be be positive. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, thank you. Okay, that was a lovely conversation yeah. and and um, and I feel, Rio, you would make me feel very relaxed if it was <laughs> so thank you. Mm. Jenny, over to you. <laughs> thank you. To help manage the group and share the workload, Julie introduced her colleague Jenny McGregor, providing their combined teaching skills and intercultural knowledge to the group. You said I worked here about one month. Oh, I think it's better if you say I have been working here. I have been uh, working. Uh, I have been working here. Working here for about for, a month. For, for, work, for about a month. Jenny works on helping participants build their vocabulary, get the, the grammar right and the syntax right checks the pronunciation while I facilitate the classes and try to make sure that each each person in the group gets a time where they can practice their English language and can converse with others. Can I just give Rani a one little um, tip here yeah. before we, we go into that? Rani, you said um, we was in the same class last term, but it's actually we were because there are two of you 
okay it's a okay. plural so we were in the same class most of the the participants were quite isolated in many ways and if we could keep the momentum going it might be um, good for mental health and for their english language if we could keep going with the video classes um, so we now have um, via zoom classes twice a week and i have about 12 people in the class every week twice a week who not only build um, their English skills, but are also building senses of connections with each other and with their tutors. And, and we have a, a good group, uh, a lot of countries, so this is very good and exciting. I could enjoy the class, and teacher was kind, and everyone is so friendly. Maybe it was miracle and now I can continue the class online so it's so happy things for me I was very happy with the uh, uh, with aims because uh, I would like to work I'm so happy with the uh, zoom uh, meeting because uh, with the quarantine uh, if I'm staying at home, I cannot speak English. I will speak my our uh, language. One day, I didn't feel well, and one of my classmates sent me a, a message during the class. The message was, whatever, whatever the problem, I send you a hug, calm and a lot good energy, and I never forget this message. The online class has been really good for me because I use it to work the whole day. I don't have to spend time traveling. I think it's advantage for us to study from home. But for me, it really does help um, me establish a routine um, during these quite difficult times and I also feel like I'm doing something of value, um, helping build English skills. Going to the end of, of the today's lesson, so what I'd like to do is to ask each of you um, to talk about one thing that's making you happy. This moment, this class makes me happy. Uh, Luciana. Yeah. <laughs> What's making you happy now? Uh, it's making me happy. It's my routine day in this quarantine because I enjoyed my time to study more English, to write my resume and try to cook new recipes. Um, okay. Um, Ellie. Honestly, thinking about uh, that in near future, maybe in one month later, we will get the chance to uh, see our family, our friends, and uh, hanging around with them and going to their home. And just thinking about these things making me happy. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. And, and you, Rio? I'm glad to uh, talk to everyone like this because mm -hmm. it will be relaxed and cheerful and I forgot about the stressful. Yeah, yeah. We've grown to really respect and care deeply for our students, to respect them for their enormous resilience in being in a new country, in being in such difficult times away from their families, and their strength in being able to navigate these very, very tough times. And I would encourage anybody who's thinking of starting a Zoom class and supporting people in need at this time to go for it. All right, uh, thank you for a great class, everyone. It was really good fun. And, um, and I look forward to seeing you all on Thursday. Bye now. Bye. When the formal class ends and the tutors have left the Zoom meeting, participants continue to chat freely. A WhatsApp group is used between sessions.
Now that restrictions are easing and we will hopefully return to face-to-face -face classes in 2021, we would encourage other tutors to think about continuing to offer supplementary classes via virtual platforms. Many of our students find it more convenient to learn from home and many would enjoy increased social connection in Melbourne. The other thing that I get out of it is that I've met a terrific group of very accomplished and professional people from all over the world and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Thank you to the group and thank you to Ames. This film is a tribute to the resilience, creativity and professionalism of many in our migrant communities. It's good to see you and today we're going to continue with uh, that topic about how to make friends. Hi, good morning. Actually we were because there are two of you. <laughs>